Hello there everyone, it's Chinese Sparky14 and welcome back to more of the World of Magic. Okay, so here we are, continuing in the Mushroom Marshland because we want to level up. We want to reach level 7 in this video, and I can guarantee that we will, definitely. Alright, so for this video we're gonna fight mostly flower elementals, I guess, because, um, yeah, they're, they're kind of the best ones. I mean, our sword is not great, you know, it's a practice sword, so it's not like we're supposed to be hitting at this point, you know, or fighting enemies higher level than us, it's better to just fight these plus flower elementals are actually pretty damn good for farming as I previously mentioned so you know we could get some lucky drops from these guys and stop missing please okay and you know get some lucky drops and some pretty good money yeah so having both buffs of 20% really is going to help you know speed up the process to reach level 7 so that's really good and yeah so let's see where we go from here Selling plus 8, 6 intelligence, 10 mana, mystic wand, and black trader. Hmm. Okay, well, way to get specific. And I don't mean that in sarcasm, I seriously mean that because I cannot tell you how many times people just shout. It's like, selling, hunt, like, selling plus 8 hunter bow. It's like, really? Like, come on, give us the stats. Or, it's even more garbage, garbage when people say, selling plus 8 hunter bow for... 2.5 million and it's like okay what the hell does that mean like that's not a good deal or a bad deal we don't know because we don't know the stats if it's a freaking no hit rate no dexterity hunter well that's an absolute ripoff but if it's but if it's like a freaking 10 hit rate one if that even exists as high as that i'm pretty sure it does if it's like a or at least an 8 hit rate with like 4 dexterity that's a freaking amazing deal like you gotta be more specific with these okay don't just be shouting what the hell you're selling for a price okay you can shout it for without a price if you i mean you don't have to get specific if you don't shout for a price because as soon as you shout people are going to be like all right tell me the stats and then we can negotiate the price but don't be shouting it when you're when you list a price you know like whenever you say something like, i'm selling this for this price but you don't give specific stats people are like what the hell are you like seriously what oh my god Alright, so I think I talked about I think that I talked about that way too much, yeah. Hmm. Selling racehorse, selling racehorse, selling racehorse. W w way to get to your point. Yeah. Um okay. Like way to um alert the entire server that you're selling a racehorse, saying it three times in the last five comments. Hmm. It's just funny, you know, and, and, and I'm not saying that, you know, that's bad, I'm just, I just find that funny. It's like, selling racehorse, selling racehorse, selling racehorse, yeah. What can I do with mystic oil? Um, you can intensify stuff, although I just sell them. Yeah, because, you know, I don't care about intensifying, although I will actually probably have to be intensifying them. Uh, maybe not, I mean, if I'm lazy, I'll just be buying them from the Black Trader like always, but, yeah, you know, you know me, with me and my Black Trader addictedness addictiveness i guess i don't know yeah but i pretty much buy everything from black trader because from what i've noticed it's almost always cheaper buying the ones from there because they're just especially if they're plus five because i don't like gambling that's the main reason why i buy stuff from the black trader because i see it as a plus five and i'm like oh that looks like a pretty good deal and the good thing is that you don't have to gamble you know because if you make your own there's a chance that the enchant could fail and then you have to get gemstones to repair it and then you have to waste even more in chance to get it up there. It's ridiculous, you know? That's that's why I just like to be safe and buy from the Black Trader. The problem with that um logic is that if everybody does do that, like what I do, there would be no market in this game. That's the problem when you're not really contributing. And I mean, I don't know. It's, it, it's weird. Because see, if everybody was doing that, just buying from the Black Trader, eventually nobody would craft stuff. That's the main thing. There, there would be no market because you're not contributing to the server on actually making stuff, and that's kind of a problem, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's because I, I just really hate the gambling. I seriously hate it. So, I don't know. I just don't know what the hell I'm going to be doing, but... Yeah. But, of course, we are, of course, going to be buying a Whoopa... Well, I mean, we're going to buy a Whoopa scale helmet at level 10. Oh, you white spider, get over... Okay. If you didn't follow me, that's good. Yeah, we are, of course, going to be buying a uh, Whoopa Scale Helmet at level 10. You can equip that at level 10. And then we will eventually get a uh, Intensified Whoopa Helmet at level 18. And from what I've heard, it's actually a good idea to keep that helmet until level 30. Some people don't like to do that, but others... I mean, 
if you want to save money and only get the more other important stuff, you want to keep the, a plus 5 intensified Whoopa scale helmet, level 18, until level 30, in which you get the, I forgot the hell, what, what the name of that thing is, the level 30 helmet. But the reason is because there, there are two helmets in between the Whoopa scale helmet. Oh, there we, there we go. We reached level 7. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so level 7, we get this thingy. Which will give us an adventure sword, 4 to 12, when critical plus 5, well, but we can't use it, we have to be level 8, but we do get a cloak. Uh, we also get some Kui dolls, okay, soul bound of course. So we're going to be using those eventually, you know. Uh, let's see, I'm going to move these things over here and... Damn it, I need more slots, I seriously need more slots, I don't have enough. Okay, well I'm going to put that there, organize it all good, okay, there we go. Alright, that's good. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to put this over here. All right. Okay. So, um, what the hell? Oh yeah, I was saying about the, the the helmets. Okay. The helmet after the Whoopa skill helmet available for warriors would be um the what the hell the the bone helm or whatever. I think it's called a bone helm. Just the bone helm. That one is a level twenty two helm, but there's a problem with that. You need Yeti's bone for that. Yeti's Bone is a rare drop from enemies in the Temple of Wingfrill. For those of you guys that have watched the other playthrough in which I talked about the enemies in the Temple of Wingfrill. It only drops from the three Yeti enemies, I believe. The Yeti, the Yeti High Guard, and the Guardian Yeti. And it's a pretty rare drop, and honestly, each one can be worth up to 5,000 or more. Okay, I'm gonna recall because, yeah, you know, we leveled up and I don't want to, you know, keep fighting. Let's actually do something else. Alright. But yeah, as I was saying, when I got the bones in the other playthrough, you know, I got like three just because of how rare they were. I got three in the, like farming for two hours. Like that was ridiculous. And I sold each one for 5,000 and they sold 15,000 for three Yeti's bone. And they sold. Somebody bought them. That's, that just shows you how rare they are. Because of that, the bone helm's price tends to be much higher than what you would think its stats would be. I mean... It would, it's much higher than what it's stats is, so because of that, it is slightly overrated. Not only that, but it's not even needed by a camper, because campers would have Black Juno's Helm. You know, it's a level 26 armor, so... Bone Helm is just not a good thing to do, usually, so... That's why people tend to skip it, whereas the Intensified thing, yeah, you know, it's pretty simple to get. Alright, we're gonna get this book. We need it. Or, wait, wait, oh, damn it, we don't have enough, shit. Okay, I'll just buy this one, then, yeah. I was gonna buy Hemorrhage, Hemorrhage Volume 2, but, um, no, I, oh well. Alright, there we go. So, because we couldn't buy that one, we'll just buy this one then. So, let's come over here, double tap on Parry, then come over here, and there we go, Parry. Parry is a passive skill, so which means, you know, you can't, um, well, there we go. 1% addition, yeah. It's a passive skill, so obviously you cannot drag it onto your slots, okay, because, again, it's passive. But there we go. Now we have a 1% chance to block any attack. Hell yeah. Which means, out of 100 attacks, 99 of them will attack us or will hit us. Well, I mean, not counting the, the other misses and blocks that have nothing to do with parry. But parry will block about one, one of one out of every 100, statistically. It's not saying it will always block one out of every 100. It's just a statistic, a percentage. Okay. You guys want to know something weird about statistics? If you flip if you flip a coin 100 times statistically you should get 50 heads and 50 tails but it's never gonna happen like seriously flip a coin a hundred times okay and can you honestly tell me that even one time like like let's say you flip a coin 100 times 100 times you know it's like you flip it a hundred times okay that's test one you flip it a hundred times that's test two can you tell me that on even one test it's gonna be exactly 50 50. That's what's weird about statistics. Statistics is a probability of what should happen, not what's going to happen. That's something that's just very, very strange in life. And I was like, oh yeah, statistically you have a three-fourths chance. Like, it's never going to be literally three-fourths of this, you know, or whatever. Whatever example you're using. It's crazy. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to kill this freaking mushroom even though he's two levels lower than me, so I should be doing this, but... Okay, so here we go. Over here, kill this flower elemental. All right, you know what? I'm not, I shouldn't be doing this. I mean, I kind of could because that, you know, again, good enemies to farm off of. But at the same, dude, no, there we go. But at the same time, it's just, uh, 
Well, I mean, it's kind of the part. I mean, it's not like we're just going to start fighting a new enemy. Like, well, I mean, it's, we're kind of close to the end of the part. Maybe like another minute and a half or something. I don't know. Two minutes tops, you know. We're up over ten minutes or so. Okay, Mystic Seed. Not bad. Yeah, I'm just going to sell those freaking Mystic Seeds. Like, seriously, why would I keep them? See, I made a mistake in the other place where I was keeping the Mystic Seeds. I'm like, why would I keep them? I'm not gonna go there until I'm freaking level 20 something plus. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to do that. And plus, even then, I don't know if I want to be going to the lighthouse, you know, to train. I mean, well, I mean, sometimes, yeah, but. Like I said in the previous walkthrough, you know, that the lighthouse is better to, like, make money because you have, the enemies in there actually have good drops, whereas the Enosha content is absolute garbage. You know, from the forest with ruins and the Lanos plains. They just don't drop good stuff. The normal enemies, I'm not talking about the bosses, just the normal enemies. Like, it's crazy. They don't drop good stuff. Counting the bulldozers, the only thing they drop besides gold, then the potion bags and the boxes, which are not unique because, you know, enemies in the lighthouse drop that too. The only thing they drop that's unique, you know, like a exclusive drop, is the bulldozer's tailbone, which is used for well-being or bread, and it sells for pretty much nothing. It's garbage. Then the, uh, the crows, they drop the... The hell's it called? The Kamaki's Beak, which is freaking garbage. And they actually have a chance to drop the Nutrition Beverage, which can be exchanged for a Bone Ring. So that one's actually, you know, an exception, I guess. But even then, it's not even worth that much. Like, really? Plus, it's a super, super rare drop. So even by the time you get it, because it's super rare, yeah, you'll get a lot of money from selling it, but it's not gonna... No, you know? Alright, so... Um... And then the, uh, what's the other thing called? The, the Gasumi, the Red Eye Gasumi. I believe that one does drop a skill book. Not just the Bloody Gasumi, but the Red Eye Gasumi can drop another one. I'm pretty sure it does, I remember that. But then there's the Mutant Gasumis and the Forest of the Ruins, which drop absolutely nothing besides the generic drops, you know, a gold, a box, and a potion bag. Large Spiders, they only drop Spider Silk, you know, which at the most, like a thousand each, I mean, a hundred each for Silk for every stack of. 20, you know, 2,000 on some servers may be higher, but still not that much, you know, because again, it's not like you're going to get a super common drop, no, it's an occasional drop, phone is ringing, but I cannot answer it right now, and then there are the swamp, I mean, not swamp, board, big boards, which drop the absolute garbage, bulldozers, tailbone, and I was like, really, let me just tell you something right now, Level 23 or 24 enemies should not be dropping an absolute garbage item that sells for like 6G to a secret merchant or if you exchange it for a freaking bolt of tail hair that can be exchanged for the old woolen gloves or whatever. It's just garbage. Why would a level 23 enemy do that? What the hell was come to us thinking? They were probably high when they were deciding the, the drops of the big boar. I mean, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure they were like high or something, you know. They had to be, like, because what idiot would be doing that? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, now another thing is, like, oh my god. Alright, I am back. So, yeah, after getting a freaking phone call and then the cell phone rings. So much stuff, yeah. But anyways, we're getting into the part right here, so... Yeah, just for this, these last ten seconds I have to cut. Alright, goodbye everybody and until next time.